and be right before he's about to nut and all this shit. It's like, yo, this nigga dead ass gonna go ahead. Like, mind you, you're not you're not jerking off with the with the with the hand that has the curse mark. Welcome back, Shama family. Today, I reacted to Boruto manga chapter 36. Okay, so I know it's been a long time since I reacted to the Boruto manga. Um, I'm hearing a lot of crazy things, so I'm just like, you know what, let me just catch up right now. Uh, as you already know, the last chapter I reacted to was 35, which was back in June, I believe. So like, yeah, let's just jump right into this bitch, all right? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get my videos. All right, let's go! And I'm reading Boruto on the Shonen Jump app, guys. You guys should totally download this shit. Like I'm telling you, it's so convenient. You're only paying $2 a month. That ass, like only $2 a month for unlimited everything. You get everything. All right, so chapter 36, surprise attack. This is a hot ass cover page. I like it. I like it. I like it so much. Guys, look, it's like, like Sasuke, Naruto, Sarada, Kawaki, um, Mitsuki, Boruto himself, you know, they're all just like, running towards something you know like it's it's really nice it's really nice seeing kawaki by their side too you know like he is so he is such an ally for them and everything you know like you know he's just on their side as we know right for right now right clearly because in the future we see that shit went to chaos so whatever all right let's just jump right in okay we got page three so um borto is just running around in the forest or whatever he got smashed into a tree well he stopped suddenly so mitsuki is like yo like what happened like you never it's rare for you to freeze up like that when you're running and he's like borto himself is like yeah i know this never happens and then oh his right hand boruto's right hand the mark the karma it's spreading and so he's like yo is that why i slipped you know that is that why he um he fell and shit most likely yeah it has to be because you know but oh my god it's so funny this is reminding me of like sasuke all over again oh the mark it's spreading you know <laughs> like tell me i'm not the only one who thought about that when reading this chapter it's like sasuke all over again um all right so we're on page eight and kawaki is still trying to look for that piece of boss for the for the vase well yeah vase boss whatever yeah pretty much naruto is just like yo my nigga like hinata already clean she cleans every day so it's most likely it's gone you can't find it so cool whatever all right then we got shikadai and inojin they're just talking about how they think how their parents how they how their parents feel about Kawaki, okay, so they, so pretty much Inogen and Shikama, uh, Shikadai, they're both neutral about him, you know, they're not like, oh yeah, oh fuck him, oh he's really deadly, and blah blah blah, they're like, mm. especially Shikadai, he's definitely neutral about him, what, Sakura has flowers, she's like, yeah, let me guess, um, you know, uh, Ino is like, let me guess, Sasuke's coming home, bro, like, so you're buying flowers for your man, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, listen, ladies, like, it's really nice, listen, even with my boyfriend, like, it's great to treat him once in a, I said once in a blue, treat him whenever you can get to treat him, you feel me, like, if he deserves it, go ahead and just spoil him, you know, there's nothing wrong with catering to your man, but at the same time, I'm just like, damn, bitch, like, Sasuke is barely home, so why the fuck are you even buying flowers, I still appreciate the jester, but it's like, still, like, Bitch, like, what the fuck, if anything, this nigga should be bringing you flowers because you're always fucking disappearing. Like, you're barely home. So, if anything, I think Sakura should get some flowers instead of the other way around. But, hey, that's just me. Nonetheless, I still do appreciate what Sakura is, I guess, you know, really doing for Sasuke. You know, being a very loyal wife, being all of that. And then, Eno you know, herself is deadass like, oh, you know, if it was me, I wouldn't even do this shit. Like, I don't know how you put up with it. I'm like, yeah, bitch, of course, because you was a fucking, you was a hoe for Sasuke back in the day. Like, you thought I forgot? No, exactly. Like, you was a hoe for Sasuke. So, of course, you would pretty, if anything, if, um, if Sai was to up and leave you, not really up and leave you, but if he was to go away for a very long time or whatever and only comes back here and there, I'm pretty sure you've been like, um, this marriage is over. Come on, come on, tell me I'm not lying. Y'all better say that in the comments below, like, like I'm spot on. All right, let's go. Um, this dude is monitoring them. 
Um, oh, wow. Okay, so Hanada and Himawari are leaving to go to the groceries. And clearly we could see that I feel like something bad is about to happen. Something bad is really about to happen, guys, because Kawaki is looking at the seal and shit on his head. And then, okay, we got Sarada and, um, like, Sarada is just... Sakura is explaining to Sarada about the, the seal on the forehead, whatever. Okay, cool. So they're both happy that um, Sasuke is coming home. But look at that. Look at that. Look. Look at Ino. She, I, I told you something is happening. I bet you it's Jigen. Oh, yep. 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 This nigga. Oh. Whoa. I'm on page 21. Yo, Jigen could come through with a fucking hand? What? Bro, that is some advanced shit. Like, what? Nigga, so that means, oh my god, I can only imagine. All right, so let's say, like, yo, right? Imagine, like, you're jerking off and shit, right? A nigga's jerking off, right? And be, right before he's about to nut and all this shit, it's like, yo, this nigga that is gonna go ahead. Like, mind you, you're not, you're not jerking off with the, with the, with the hand that has the curse mark. No, you're jerking off with the hand that doesn't have the curse mark. So, okay, like, get yeah, right, you're jerking off and all this shit. And then this motherfucker, you know, like, you know, you, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to stop jerking off. Yeah, like, I already know that because this shit fucking it hurts your sealed hand hurts so you're like oh shit uh, uh, you start switching whatever and then this motherfucker comes in and he sees your fucking dick yo what is going on oh my god that have been so disturbing that will be so like nah like yo jigen i'm gonna need you to chill the fuck out like he needs to chill like what is like bro you can't be coming in i could have been jerking off and then boom like you just come and you see my dick nah like bro and you're not my dad you're not even my dad too talking about oh yeah i'm your father you know you know how he go you know how he carries on like oh i'm your dad blah blah, blah. nigga the fuck you you don't even get to see my dick either like fuck out of here because you're not my dad but anyways <laughs> Oh my god, Shady, you you crack me up. What the fuck? Alright, let's go. So page 23, right? Alright, so boom, Jigen is in this bitch. He's in Naruto's house, or whatever. Alright, yo, this nigga coming in like the motherfucker he is, like the true boss he is, bro. What the hell? I can't believe I'm forgetting this nigga's name for the life of me. I don't know why. The one who's been following um Kawaki's movements and stuff. And everybody and their moms is saying, like, oh, he's like another Jiraiya. Anyways, the point is, yeah, okay, so boom, right? So Jigen is like, oh, it seems like I'm in your living room. Oh, my apologies, um, Naruto. But and then Naruto is like, nigga, I, I can give two shits if you stepping in with, with shoes or not, my nigga. Like, you not about to, like, take away Kawaki. You not about to take away my other son. Like, that's my son, all right? Like, it's like, bro, like, you only have one son, but okay. No, but yeah, that's my son. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's real fast. Yo, where are these um, steaks coming from? Oh man, the stakes hold him down. Jigen throws stakes at Naruto and pin him down. And then Kwaki's, like I said, I'm not your son, blah, 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 right? So boom. I don't know what the fuck Sarda is thinking about doing. Like, she's gonna fucking help. She's like, oh, I don't know how much I could do, but at least I gotta help. Bitch, go home. Go home. Like, all right, so I'm on page 33. Uh, Naruto's like, what are these rods? They're sucking the chakra out of me. And then Kurama is like, Pitful, get up already, will you? Shaming the title of the Kage. We're like, nigga! Nigga, like, bro, 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 you mean to tell me you don't remember getting fucking poke, pause, whoa, by pain, by the fucking rods and shit, when pain fucking put you down and shit? Like, I'm not, I'm not understanding, like, you've been through this before. So this is nothing new. So that's why, like, I'm glad Karama was like, yo, like, you acting like this is brand new, my nigga. Like, get the fuck up and let's go. Let's murder this motherfucker. And it's like, yeah, exactly. Let's go. Let's go right now. So he's like, so you like that toy, right? Oh, okay, okay. So Jigen doesn't really like what the prosthetic hand that Naruto gave him. Oh, no. Jigen is such a, ma a master manipulator and shit. He's like, yo, motherfuckers don't care about you. Blah, blah. This village don't care about you. They're just using you. And it's like, oh. Oh, Kawaki. The fucking shit is coming out of his head. And I'm glad he's telling Jigen off. He's like, you're nothing but a, like, a worthless rat bastard and you're fucking baldy. You know, just let him have it. And I'm so glad he is because it's like, yeah. Yo, that is amazing, yo. So his shit, I feel like Kawaki's karma 
power is, is evolving more than Boruto's karmas. So, um, I think that's pretty dope. I like, I like that. And then Jigen is like, yo, how the fuck did he advance this much? And then Naruto's gonna come in with the quickness and like, just kick this motherfucker. Like, okay, yes, thank you. Jigen is like, oh, you dare kick me and shit? Nigga, I'm about to like, fuck you up right now. And we could see like, Jigen is powering up. What I like is that both of these motherfuckers, like Naruto and Jigen, like we both see the the markings on their face like i just love it's just something but jigen has more marks clearly because you know he's a deadly motherfucker and this nigga is like op as shit and shit so like yeah of course but it's something about seeing both like the antagonist and the protagonist having marks on their freaking face to represent their power like my nigga like all right naruto's about to go all out using um Kurama and all this shit, and then yeah, now Jigen is about to go out. Okay, so that was a good chapter. That was a good chapter. That, that was a good build up for the next chapter, which we're about to jump into right now, because what the fuck, like, this shit is getting like intense, and I'm like, oh my god, I need more. Um, so yeah, guys, that was pretty good. Um, some of the things I'm looking forward to in the next chapter is obviously, hopefully, from the last chapter, chapter 35, I know Sasuke was on his way like he saw Jigen as on his way to tell um Naruto about him summoning not even summoning the ten tails but really having the ten tails power in his control and all of that the um the the Juby yeah pretty much the Juby so um yeah so we're, I'm looking forward to seeing Sasuke hopefully coming into the next chapter and then um what else just just mad shit. I want to see how this fight is going to go down because we're kind of like getting the showdown that we've always wanted to get. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shamasan Reacts. I'm out. Peace.